Is the integrity of our judiciary system under threat? This is the question that has been raised by over 600 lawyers from across India. These legal minds have taken a unified stand, penning a letter to the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud. The letter, a beacon of their collective concern, speaks of pressures, both political and professional, that are allegedly influencing the outcomes of judicial processes. This formidable group of legal practitioners includes some prominent names like senior advocate Harish Salve, Manan Kumar Mishra, Adish Agarwal, Chetan Mittal, Pinky Anand, and Swarupama Chaturvedi. With their combined experience, they bring to light an issue that could potentially shake the democratic fabric of our nation, questioning the very trust placed in our judicial processes. The letter is titled, Judiciary Under Threat, Safeguarding Judiciary from Political and Professional Pressure. The concern arises from the alleged actions of a specific interest group. This group, according to the lawyers, is said to be exerting undue influence on the judiciary, especially in cases involving political figures and corruption allegations. This purported meddling, it is claimed, is not just a subtle nudge in the back corridors of power. It's a significant, full-throated push that threatens to undermine the democratic fabric of our society and erode public trust in judicial processes. The allegations are serious and far-reaching. The lawyers assert that the interest group is engaging in a multi-pronged approach to exert pressure on the judiciary. The group is allegedly employing tactics that are not only unethical, but also potentially illegal. They are accused of propagating false narratives, of spinning tales about a so-called golden era of the judiciary, a time when they claim justice was dispensed without fear or favour. But the lawyers argue that this narrative is a smokescreen, a cleverly contrived fiction designed to discredit current proceedings, to cast a shadow of doubt over the legitimacy of contemporary legal outcomes. It is a strategy, they say, that seeks to undermine public confidence in the courts and to magnify the influence of this interest group. The allegations don't stop there. The interest group is also accused of floating a theory of bench fixing. This term refers to the alleged manipulation of the judicial process by influencing the selection of judges to hear specific cases. This accusation is particularly serious as it calls into question the very integrity of the judicial process and has been described by the lawyers as disrespectful and contemptuous. The lawyers have accused the interest group of tactics, such as spreading false narratives and bench fixing. These allegations, if proven, could have profound implications for the functioning of our democracy. They call for a thorough and impartial investigation into the actions of this interest group and for measures to be taken to safeguard the integrity of the judiciary from undue political and professional pressure. The lawyers have outlined several concerning tactics employed by this interest group. Now let's delve into these tactics. They are as multifaceted as they are manipulative, carefully designed to sway public opinion and influence judicial outcomes. One such tactic is selective criticism or praise of court decisions based on political agenda. It's a psychological chess game, if you will. The interest group cherry-picks court decisions, lauding those that align with their political ideology and vehemently criticising those that don't. This is not an exercise in critical thinking or democratic debate. It's a calculated move to shape public perception, turning the judiciary into a battleground for political agendas. Then there's political flip-flopping. Picture this, politicians alternating between accusing individuals of corruption and then, in the blink of an eye, defending them in court. It's a perplexing dance of contradiction designed to confuse and distract. It's a way of muddying the waters, making it difficult for the public to discern truth from falsehood, integrity from corruption. Perhaps most concerning is the alleged use of underhand tactics to influence judicial appointments and outcomes. The lawyers argue that this involves the dissemination of false information, a disturbing game of smoke and mirrors. This can have serious implications for the judiciary, potentially leading to appointments based on falsehoods and manipulation, rather than merit. The timing of these tactics is no coincidence. They often coincide with election periods, a strategic move to exploit the heightened political tension and public interest. The lawyers draw parallels to similar activities in 2018 and 2019, suggesting a pattern of orchestrated attacks on the judiciary. These tactics, the lawyers argue, are designed to undermine public confidence in the courts and influence judicial outcomes. 
They are not just attacks on the judiciary, but on the very fabric of our democracy. The integrity of our judicial system is at stake, and it's a fight that concerns us all. In response to these allegations, the lawyers have called on the Supreme Court to take action. The legal minds behind this letter have put forth a series of protective measures. They urge the Supreme Court to stand resolute against any attempts to undermine the judicial process and to safeguard the sanctity of the court's proceedings. They have appealed for the court to be vigilant against any propagation of false narratives and to challenge any attempts at bench fixing. They also warn against the strategic timing of these underhand tactics, particularly around election periods, drawing attention to similar activities that took place between 2018 and 2019. These lawyers are calling for a united stand, a collective show of support for the judiciary and its crucial role in our democracy. They believe that the judiciary must remain a strong pillar of democracy, immune to the pressures of political and professional influence. The letter ends with an urgent call for decisive leadership in addressing these challenges. In summary, the letter addresses serious concerns about the integrity of our judiciary system. Over 600 lawyers from across India have expressed their apprehensions about political and professional pressures aimed at influencing judicial outcomes. They've pointed a finger at a specific interest group, allegedly employing pressure tactics, particularly in cases involving political figures and corruption allegations. This, they argue, threatens the democratic fabric and undermines the trust placed in judicial processes. The lawyers have raised concerns about the propagation of false narratives, the theory of bench fixing, and the selective criticism or praise of court decisions based on political agendas. They've also highlighted the alleged use of underhand tactics and the dissemination of false information to influence judicial appointments and outcomes, particularly around election periods. In response, Senior members of the bar have called upon the Supreme Court to take protective measures, urging decisive leadership to safeguard the judiciary. As we ponder on these concerns, the question remains, is our judiciary under threat? Only time will tell.